this is going to be a complete whiteout now. I don't know, you can see it. As you can see, I have got my phaser on the drive. I'm going to do a little mod to it. So, firstly, I've taken the top box off, and that's got nothing to do with what I'm doing today. But the actual base to the box has just disintegrated, and I can't keep it on there firmly and stop it from moving. So, I'm going to have to replace that, which I will do another day. I'm not sure I can repair what I've taken off, it looks too broken up. So. Anyway, uh, probably have to buy a whole new box as well. That was only a cheapo Chinese import aftermarket thing that doesn't really fit well. Anyway, let's get to the mod that I'm going to do. One thing that I find really tricky is putting air in the tyres. It's alright if you've got like a right angled nozzle on the end of your pump. And even then, it can be difficult to get in but if you've just got a straight line um, just getting it in there and trying to hold it straight while you screw it on can be quite tricky uh, it's probably harder on the front one than it is on the rear because you've got two brake discs on either side it's very difficult to manoeuvre around and if you're doing it on the roadside in the dark in the rain even harder. So I'm going to make it easier and I'm just going to add some right angled uh, attachments to the existing Schrader valve. So let's use the uh, air pump that I've got on the bike just to demonstrate. So demonstration and you know what another youtuber said when he was talking about his everyday carry use your stuff when you're at home because then you'll see what works and what doesn't work and this is a good case in question so yeah that is quite difficult to get in there I'm really having to kind of try and maneuver it around and if it was cold dark wet uh, I'm kind of miles from home. And it's going to be pretty awkward. Just about get it on, but that is fiddly. Anyway, um, yeah, another YouTuber said use your everyday carry that you've got on the bike when you're at home. And. Uh, but then you can actually find out if it does the job or not and I'm just looking at this thinking I don't think these leads are going to reach the battery let's go give them a try I'll leave this here no oh, no I think we seem to be okay I'm sure we're going to get a good strong connection though we shall see incorporate some little alligator posts. Okay, now one of the main problems that I find is not just getting the uh, nozzle of the air pump in but also if you're trying to get a tyre pressure gauge in, uh, this is kind of going on at an angle, it can be really fiddly. And what's more problematic is this is showing 15 and a half psi. <laughs> anyway, what I'm going to do is I'm going to attach this right-angled union. I think I'm going to angle it down. Now it is a little bit, uh, it is a little bit visible. So uh, hoping it uh, it dulls down, and well, it will dull down. Spin that around. Let's go in 
too tight. Right, let's do that. Okay, so I'm angling that down ever so slightly. And that valve is, uh, is closed. Or, sorry, that valve is, is open now because this is uh, pushing the, uh, the little Schrader valve in. Uh, but this valve at this end is closed, so I'll just take the uh, cap off. And I can connect my pump much more easily to that end. And get and pump the tyre up. And the rear valve is considerably harder than the front. There is no way that the tyre pressure gauge will go on straight. You have to pretty much push the valve over quite some way, and that is not ideal. So, let's try and take a reading off that. Which uh, is not great. It's got just over 30 and a half psi, so that's doing a little better. And the front was right down on pressure, so we'll fit our right angled piece on. Let's just go and give this valve a little tighten up. Again, I'm just going to angle it down a little bit. That time that was just air coming out of there. I'll do, do it tight and then I'll turn it around just to give it that last little bit. Certainly, considerably easier than trying to force that in at an angle. This time, just going to give it a couple of psi. That should do it. this job a lot easier. Well, I'm not a massive fan of these things but they seem to work so I'm going to give them a try. You might not like them. Leave a comment. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share and I'll see you next time.